In this part of the Scratch course, we're going to look at calculations. Um, we're going to look at creating a sum where we're adding more than one value together. Let's have a quick look at it. So here we have the Scratch Cat, and we're just going to create a quick script. To work with these particular calculations we're going to do today, we're going to have to create some variables. So let's make a variable. And what we're going to do is we'll create an example of heights of, of trees. Okay, so we're going to take the different sizes of trees here and we're going to add them up. So how can we go about doing this? Well, the first thing we'll need is a flag and then we're going to ask a question and the question is what is the height of the tree? Okay. We then want to store that, so we're going to go with variables. And we're going to ask and set. Okay, so now we've got the question. What is out of the tree? And if I put in 12 in there, that then stores tree size, you'll see, is set for 12. Right, well, that's great. How to add more than one together? Well, we could create another variable. And we could just add those in. So if I then create a new variable called tree2. Then I could simply say tree 2. And if we run it, what is the height of the tree? 12, 13, that's fine. We could then make a variable called total. And we can add the two heights together. We can then set the total to the two heights together. So was out of the tree, 12, 13, and we can now see the total is 25. That's great, but what if I want to do five trees? Well, it's going to get a wee bit laborious if I simply duplicate and I go, right, okay, so I need a new variable called tree three, tree four, tree five, and we're now going to say again, three, Four, five. Oh, and I need even more operators because we're going to have to add these together. So I need to start doing this, and then I need to. Oh, I'm going to run out of room, so I need to do that. So I'm going to go three, four. I need another one. I need five. I just drag and drop that there. And now when we run the program, we go, and I'm just going to create one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five. And if you add one, two, three, four, five together, you get the number. Well, it says 15. Okay, so work that out quickly. And we're happy with that. So that's great. 20 trees from a forest. Right, well now it's just getting silly because we're getting more and more variables and we're just going to end up confused. So I think we need to find a better way of doing that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw away all these and I'm just going to break it down to what we actually need. And I'm going to keep it at tree size. Right. How many trees? Well, if we've got 20 trees, we can use our peak. Just change that to 20. Now this will ask the question 20 times, then that's fine. We can then sit and put numbers in all the time up to 20, but it's not it's not doing anything with those numbers. So what we need to do is we need to use the change. And we're simply going to change the total by the tree size. If I knock this down to 5, you'll start to see the program working. So what is the height of the tree? One, two, three, four, five. But the total is now 30. Why is the total 30? Well this says change the total, which was 15 when we started this, by the size of the tree. Well that's not use. So we need to initialize the total to zero. And now when we run it, one, two, three, four, five. 
we get the total 50. So we don't need this line of code. So this part of the program simply asks for the height of the tree and adds them all together for total. Well that's great, but what if we wanted to do the average height of the tree? So what we'd have to do is we need to make a new variable called average. And what is the average? The average would be the total height of the trees divided by the number of trees. So we've got 5, so it's total divided by 5. When do we do this? Well, we don't want to do this every time we ask for the height of the tree. We only want to do this at the end. So if I run it, and I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Then we've got the total is still 15, but the average is now 3. Okay, so 15 divided by 5 is 3. We could make this a little bit more um, complex by making a new variable called number of trees. And this time we're going to ask a question question is, how many trees? And now what we're going to do is we're going to use the number of trees to the calculation. So let's get rid of some things. Number of trees, total, and the average. Now, when we run the program, how many trees? Three. What is the height of a tree? 12, 13, 12. You'll see the total is 37, and the average is 12.3. And now, when we run this program, we can simply enter any value for one. So, if we need to do 10 trees, and we just do again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then the total is 55 and the average is 5.5. So there's the final program. And you can see in the final program, working from the top, we have to initialize the total to zero. So every time we start this program, it's set to zero. It then asks how many trees, it stores that. It then repeats for the number of trees, asks the height of each tree, stores the height of the tree, adds the height of that tree onto the total, it does that for however many trees there are, and when it's finished, it then sets the average to the total number of trees divided by the number of trees. And that's a working program to calculate the total and work out the average.